So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is Teacher's Day and I actually wanted to wish you every wish everyone a happy Teacher's Day. And if you are like I'm not a teacher, well actually you are. Go through the video and you will find out you are indeed a teacher. So the day of teachers. Firstly we have to know who are teachers. Two teachers are someone who engage themselves in providing information to people and society to reform them and eventually get them a living. It looks like a textbook definition, but it's actually not. So, who are teachers? As I said, they are a source of information, a source of knowledge, a source of motivation. And teachers does not only mean the, those who just teach you in schools and colleges. Teachers can be anything, like literally anything. Anything that motivates you, yes, it is your teacher. Now, the camera motivates me, it is my teacher. A pen motivates me, that is my teacher. It does not have to be a living thing only. A dog motivates me, that is my teacher. And you audience are motivating me to make content. So, as I said, you are my teachers. So, why are teachers important? Well, actually, teachers are very important because they are the one who are initiating to reform the society by providing knowledge and information which are up to date. So they are updating the society knowingly or unknowingly, directly or indirectly. At this moment I will actually take an opportunity to call every teacher or actually everyone the social reformers themselves. The society is being the social reformer on its own. So the main thing when it comes to teachers are how are we respecting them as students? So I'm talking about this thing, the main teacher thing which is the schools and colleges one and the students one. So how are students respecting teachers? So usually what happens is if you find a teacher good by their behavior or by, by how they talk to you or how they interact with you, you find them good and you tend to focus much on their subject or whatever they teach. That's how the human tendency works. And on the other hand, some teachers are harsh. They might not be so polite and patient, but of course they are still teaching. Students will go away from them. You know why? Because they are harsh. They put in they put to teachers in comparison. Who is good? We'll talk to them. We'll avoid the other one. But my friend, you have to know that he or she who is rude is still a teacher and teaches you something. They are a source of information by themselves. I would like to actually say a story of mine. Uh, when I was in 10th standard, the last day of the school, uh, before the exams, so in friendship, we all wanted to take photos and we brought our mobiles, we took photos with everyone and one teacher came to us saying, boys, no taking photos with girls and girls, no taking photos with boys. That felt miserable for us. We all are friends. We are looking each and every one as friends. And we were avoiding that teacher because they are spoiling our friendship. We thought that they are spoiling our friendship. But later on, I actually found out that he is safeguarding everyone. Maybe some insecurities some negative thing might happen so to make us safe and secure actually the teacher said no taking photos with boys and girls at that day we all were frustrated and we did not talk to them but after we lost this after two three days i went to him personally and i apologized him and the teacher said nothing he smiled and said just know that i am doing everything for the good of you so please don't disrespect us. Might be our character and behavior might be harsh, but we still had the main motive to, to see you develop. That thing stuck onto my heart and it would be forever because that's the first time when I knew the first, the best and the biggest motive of a teacher. So as I said, these things, this way we are disrespecting teachers which we totally should not and uh, by my story if someone gets motivated that's more than enough because the mistake i made i don't hope anyone else to make that mistake and disrespect a teacher we should actually respect everyone 
There's nothing big you can do to a teacher. Just listen to their words, which is more than enough, actually. Even if you don't like him or if you like him or her, just listen to their words because, as you know, the main motive of teacher is to make you grow, to make you develop. So, the more you are nearer to his or her words, the more you are succeeding. And for me, the real success is getting near to a teacher. So that's the way we should actually respect them. That's the huge tribute we can do. Teachers deserve some respect and we owe them some respect. We have to because it's their right. Because they work day and night for us, making out the best of their time and making out the best of, the, of their skills. So we have to appreciate and uh, we like we should respect them at least if the, if not them their words at least but the politeness you give to their words is more than enough to make their day so with that being said i am concluding today's video thank you so much for watching my teachers thanks a lot this is your boy niharatur signing off